HR isn't the most glamorous job on planet Earth, and some of what you do is truly mind-numbing, but you gotta do it. Accounts receivable is one of those things. Unless you were a CPA in a past life and get a thrill from crunching numbers, which if so, are you available to do my taxes? Kidding, mostly. Anyway, our goal here at HR Party of One is to give you the best knowledge and strategies for all parts of your HR role, not just the fun ones like clamping down on office gossip. I'll link that episode in the description in case you missed it. So in this episode of HR Party of One, we'll evaluate accounts receivables definition and purpose, plus the top five ways to keep outstanding accounts in the rear view mirror and better things on the road ahead. Until the next time you have to do accounts receivable, that is, we'll discuss what is accounts receivable, top five ways to manage accounts receivable, and what happens if you don't track accounts receivable accurately. Let's get started. What is accounts receivable? Accounts receivable, which I'll call AR throughout the episode, is the money for invoices that have not yet been paid. This is when you put on your finance hat and crunch numbers, make calls, send emails, deposit checks, and in less favorable circumstances, annoy people until you get your money. One way to think of it is that AR is what you are owed. If you sell a product, then the outstanding invoice of a client purchasing from you would fall into the accounts receivable pot. This is in contrast to accounts payable, which is money you owe like to a service provider who provides your letterhead or company training. AR isn't just important, it's critical. When people don't pay on time, you will struggle to determine budgets and cash flow. This could impact if you have the right amount of supplies, can afford new technology, or even pay your employees. As an HR party of one, you know all the details of tracking money, where it comes from, where it goes, and how fast it runs out. To run a successful organization, especially at the small to mid-sized level, each cent matters, and accounts receivable is how you capture the cents that try to escape your notice. Another consideration is if your organization has different revenue streams to track. That can complicate AR and exponentially increase the work you have to do to stay on top of it. So let's cover the top five ways to manage AR so you can get off on the right foot each time. Top five ways to manage accounts receivable. Managing AR is an intimidating concept, considering how vital it is to the success of your organization. But these five strategies are a great foundation to get you started so you can be at the top of your game and less stressed and bored by the tedium of wearing your finance hat. Number one, stay organized. This is usually the first item on any strategy list, and that's for good reason. For AR, staying organized means taking a long, hard look at how you currently do things. For example, do you use a spreadsheet or another website? Who is in charge of what in your office? Like, do you have an accountant to check things? Is there a standard schedule to follow? How many times per quarter do you do AR? What day of the week? Each of these questions and many others are key to organizing how you do AR. So consider the strategy a soft AR audit, not an audit of all things AR, just of how you do AR. Once you have a better grasp of how things are done, you'll find room for improvement. Like if you use digital or traditional methods of tracking AR. If you use traditional methods like a good old spreadsheet or pen and paper, then consider if that method is still working to your satisfaction. There may be a better way. Technology has boomed in the past decade, and you can now use software dedicated to business finance needs. Many companies use software to streamline their finances like Zoho Books or other vendors. One thing that software has on traditional methods, other than being a huge time and stress saver, is that it reduces the risk of human error. If you're doing AR by hand, I'm impressed but keep in mind that there are many options on the market that can make this task easier for you. Number two, create and enforce communication pathways. Like being organized, you also are pretty used to hearing that you need a system that is also standardized. Creating communication pathways can help you run AR more quickly and efficiently. Old clients will recognize the communications you use and know when and where to expect them. For example, Say you always send an email first, then make a phone call, then send a letter if you have to get serious. 
If you need help with a template or want to check out some of ours, then you're in luck. I'll link to a resource in the description for HR Communication Pathways. For you and your organization, Communication Pathways will help keep those who need to know in the know, saving you time, effort, and potential stress. For the clients you are invoicing, consider setting communication pathways for the initial invoice and the follow-ups if necessary. Follow through to when the deposit is made so you know the money is on its way and you can be nice by sending a quick standard email saying thanks to confirm your receipts. Think too about what stage of the process you need to get mean. We don't mean mean mean, but you know, business mean, Set deadlines, maintain a respectful and firm tone, and if need be, point out the consequences of late payments. That pesky account you're hunting down will recognize the pressure is increasing and that you're about to take off the kid gloves. Number three, don't let it get out of hand. Stay on top of your open invoices to save stress. Consider giving yourself an incentives list. If it works for your employees, it may work for you too. A list you can cross wins off to track your success and stay organized can brighten your day. After all, you deserve to acknowledge your wins too. You have monthly goals that you use to guide your day-to-day -day tasks and weekly objectives. Add AR to that monthly goal so you can schedule out the time you need to ensure AR is accurate and timely. Goal setting is key in any role and yours, it's the same. Goals can guide your HR strategy and help you improve how your organization utilizes your role. Number four, set clear contractual obligations. First, have a contract. Doesn't matter what the relationship is between your organization and the client or your boss and the client or your hairdresser and the client, none of it. While relationships are incredibly important to maintain, the potential for disaster should be at the forefront of your mind. You never know if someone is indisposed due to illness or injury. A guy without a developed relationship or loyalty to your organization will step in and fiddle with how things have always been done. Legal protections protect everyone, both you and the customer. So it's a good idea all around to have even the most basic contract. And for clients you don't have a developed or historical relationship with, consider adding late fees to enforce contractual fulfillment. People are scared at the idea of being sued, and a contract can go a long way to ease your mind and hold other people to the promises they've made. And finally, number five, involve finance leaders. This point may be moot if you're an HR party of one and run all the accounts, but if you aren't, you may want to familiarize yourself with the finance power brokers in your organization. Who is writing checks and depositing checks? That's someone you need to know if you don't see that face in the mirror. Also, clarify if there is a system to double check or triple check things. As we said before, AR is critical to your organization's success, so a standardized system that ensures accuracy and efficiency is vital. Making an effort to refine your AR process and involve finance leaders in your workplace won't just make AR easier, but will also show that you are dedicated to streamlining this critical function of your organization's continued success. There's another pro to involving other leaders. They can provide backup if you need it. You shouldn't need it if you're following these other steps, but it's nice to have an ace in your back pocket. What happens if you don't track accounts receivable accurately? You know how pivotal AR is to the smooth running of your organization. Inaccurate and inefficient AR can lead to a lack of trust in your organization and even in you and your role. If you aren't invoicing clients correctly in a timely manner, they may begin to doubt the professionalism or ability of you or your team. This can cause you to lose valuable clients and their revenue. An even bigger issue is if you are not doing AR at all or incorrectly. If you aren't collecting unpaid invoices and doing it in the right way, how are you accurately judging your organization's revenue? Tracking revenue incorrectly can spark problems with creditors. If you use a credit card for any expense or have business loans, inaccurate revenue reporting may cause creditors to deem your organization untrustworthy for lines of credit. Losing access to your credit can hamstring your organization's ability to function in its industry. 
Additionally, the CEO and other senior managers use the budgets you determine from AR to make day-to-day -day decisions based on internal financial reporting. If your CEO makes strategic business decisions based on inaccurate information, you could be at fault. Inaccurate revenue information can also attract the attention of the accountant's boogeyman, the IRS. Non-compliance with IRS reporting requirements can lead to serious legal issues. You don't want to look like your organization is committing fraud, not only because of how it would affect your organization, but also because of how it may affect you personally. If you're in charge of accounts receivable and accounts payable, any issue with them could be placed on your shoulders. In your HR role, you want to be trusted to do things the right way. These top five ways to manage accounts receivable can set you on the path to success and your organization alongside you. In this episode, we've covered the best ways to get on top of your accounts receivables from staying organized, getting standardized, and more. Even if your current accounts receivable process is just fine, it never hurts to take a look so you can double check. Accounts receivable is critical to the success of your organization, so it's worth the extra effort. In HR, you wear a lot of hats. The finance hat may be one of the most stressful, but Burning Portal is here to help you make sure your hat fits. As always, remember that your role is as strategic as you make it. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notifications about the latest HR Party of One updates and new episodes.